In this chapter, let us learn about one-to-one -one mapping. I have two classes, one called person, another class called person detail. Now, I want to create two tables out of these two classes called person and person detail. And I want to have a one-to-one -one relationship between these two tables. That is, for every record in the person table, I want one record in the person detail table. Now let us see how to go about doing this. For the person table, I want to have some person ID and person name. Now after having the person ID and person name, let us have the getters and setters. So we have the person ID, person name and the getters and setters. Let us go to the person detail class and let us have some private data and getters and setters for the person detail. So here in this class, I have some private data called person detail ID, zip code, job, income, and then the getters and setters for those private data. Now let us annotate these two classes with whatever annotations we have learned till now. That is entity for person because this is going to be a separate table. ID because we want this to be the primary key. And then generated value because we wanted to auto generate the primary key. We are not worried about strategy and stuff like that. Same thing for person detail. Let us annotate this with entity. And here let us put ID and generated value for person detail. Now let us create a test person class and then create all those session objects and those objects and stuff like that. Now that I have two classes person and person detail. If I want a relationship between these two classes, that is, I want to have any kind of relationship, one-to-one -one or one-to-many or anything like that, I have to make sure that there is an instance of person detail in this person class so that I can create those relationships. So let us create an instance of person detail in the person class. So here I have an instance of person detail in the person class. Now let us create the getters and setters for this private data. So now that we have the instance of person detail in the person class and the getters and setters, now all we have to do to create a one-to-one -one mapping is go to the getter method of this person detail object and then say at O N E control space and then you can select one to one from javax.persistence this will create a one to one relationship between the person table and the person detail table now we also have certain other parameters for this one to one mapping let's put within parenthesis cascade equal to cascade type dot now if you notice there is something called as a cascade type which has all these properties whether all merge persist refresh or remove now what are these cascade types now if you have two tables that is person and person detail and you have like a single record here in person and which is related to a single record in person detail now the cascade type asks you a question now if you are going to delete a particular record in person do you want the corresponding record in person detail also to be deleted if you want the corresponding record also to be selected then you have to select cascade type remove the same thing goes for like refresh if I refresh a particular record in person do you want the corresponding record in person detail also to be refreshed then you have to select refresh now instead of selecting each and every one of these properties I can simply select all that is if I delete a person I want the corresponding record also to be deleted if I like you know update the person table I want the corresponding record and person detail also to be updated if I want all these features all I have to do is select all now there is another property called as fetch fetch equal to fetch type dot now there are two types here eager and lazy now what is this fetch used for? 
Now imagine using Hibernate query language or Criteria API, I'm going to fetch a record of person. Do I want the corresponding record in person detail also to be loaded? If that is the case, you have to say eager. Now eager, what it does is whenever I load a record of person, the corresponding record and person detail will also be loaded to this particular object. Now by default for one-to-one -one mapping, fetch type is eager, so you did not mention it. But for one-to-many and many-to-many -many mapping, the fetch type is lazy. If you think about it, it is basic common sense. If I am loading one record in person since the corresponding table also has only one record it makes sense to load it whenever you're loading person or whenever like you're querying person but for one to many and many to many it doesn't make sense to have eager as your fetch type because one record in person may have like you know 100 record in person detail so for those cases the default fetch in one to many and many to many mapping is lazy and the default fetch for one to one mapping is eager so now that we have created a one to one mapping between person and person detail let us do one more thing now if you notice we are going to have two tables that is person and person detail that is going to be a foreign key column now this foreign key hibernate will automatically give this foreign key column for one-to-one -one mapping but in case we want to name that foreign key as something else like you know i want it as p detail underscore fk and the same thing i want the primary key of the person detail which matches the foreign key to be named as detail id underscore pk now how to go name these particular columns all you have to do is here in this person detail getter method, since this is going to be my join column, all I have to do is say at join column and here I can give a name for the join column. So here since this p detail is going to be my join column, I have annotated as the join column and then I have given it as underscore fk so that this is going to be my foreign key. That is, it just denotes, makes it human readable when someone looks at this particular table that this is the foreign key column. The same thing can be done for the person detail and here this is going to be my primary key. I can give a column annotation and here I have named this particular column as like underscore pk which denotes the primary key so now let us go and test these particular tables go to test person and then we can create the regular code like annotation configuration stuff like that so here i have created the annotation configuration object and the session objects let us go create those two objects of person detail and person so here i have a person detail object and then a person object now since this person object as a reference to the person detail object i have to set alex dot set p detail and here i will pass the person detail object that is the alex detail then after this let me call session dot save of alex now if you remember i am not saving this particular alex detail object the reason is I don't have to worry about saving the Alex detail because of this cascade type. Since cascade type is all, whenever I save a person object, the corresponding record person detail object will also automatically be saved. So here I have just added a reference a comment and I've commented out session.save. I've said no need if we set the cascade type. So basically when I save the Alex object, the Alex detail will also be saved. Remember, if you do not set the cascade type, you will have to make sure the Alex detail is also saved. So the next line is we'll commit the transaction. After committing the transaction, now let's run this particular class. So after refreshing this particular schema, let's go check our person and person detail tables. So here you can notice I have the person table with the person ID, person name and then I have the foreign key column which is going to create the relationship between person and person detail. And here the foreign key of the person is the primary key of the person detail 
table here I have the detail ID underscore primary key and then this one has its own data so this completes our chapter on one-to-one -one mapping